after all the texts, I get I go back quiet and I'm just sitting there. Go back to sleep. I wake up again, he's standing over me. Mm -hmm. He like, are you on birth control? I ask him like, why are you asking me that? Mm -hmm. I say, well, why are you asking me that? He's talking about some, oh, you must don't remember last night. You're a very freaky girl. He starts laughing and he leaves the room. At that point, I'm like, what the, f in my head, I'm, I'm, tr I'm, pl I'm trying to piece two and two together last night. I'm like, oh, wow. I'm, and, I, and it's like, I'm coming to the realization, like, no, no, this didn't happen to me. No, no, this didn't happen to me. No, this didn't happen to me. No, no, no. I just keep telling myself that over and over. But when I, after he said that, I sit up in the bed. Like, you know, like when you wake up in the morning and you just sit up like this or whatever, and you wipe your face off. Yeah. I feel are not on like my panties is not on how they supposed to be on like you know how they supposed to grip you they not on they all I, I open up my shorts they all twisted up they, they're all twisted up mm. so in my head I'm, wow this really just happened to me so I call my I'm, I'm on the phone with Mikhail Mikhail looking at my location this is my friend she is like first of all girl that left me she she reaches out to Mikhail before she even <laughs> reaches out to me and says have you heard from Zayana Mikhail is like what do you mean she was with you last? Why are you asking me have I heard from her? So she checked my location after Haley texts her that. And she texted me, calling me. Why are you still there? Why are you still there? I'm on the phone with her like, I'm still here. They left me here. They left me here. He keep coming in and out of the room. I don't know. Like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. And I'm scared. Every time, every time he come in the room, every mm -hmm. time he come in the room, I put the phone down. So he don't know I'm on the phone with nobody. He is, mm -hmm. he acting, he is like, acting like he has no, done nothing. Kayla. I cannot count on my hand how many times he asked me to take a a shower. Take a shower, take a bath. Take a shower, take a bath. I got clothes for you. He just kept trying to say, he kept trying to like, I had braids in at the time. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember this, but from when I was told that my head was put in a, a trash can while they did what they did. Yeah. And the throw up wouldn't go everywhere. Mm -hmm. So he picking out stuff from my hair. He like, you need to take a shower because you were just laying in throw up last night. You were literally just laying in your own throw up last night. You were literally just laying in your own throw up last night. You should really take a shower. You're on this bed next to my clean clothes. Like, go take a shower. Go take a shower. Trying to make me take a shower. Talking about some, I know your sizes. I have clothes for you. Mm, that's weird. I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm definitely not taking a shower here. I don't feel comfortable here. I don't want to, I, I don't want to get naked in here. No. So... Haley finally comes to get me, right? I grab my stuff. He followed me outside. He knocked on the passenger door like, I'm sorry about what happened last night, how I was so angry and kicked everybody out. But I'm glad everybody made it home safely. Mm. Tap Haley on the shoulder. And she like, she like, yeah, it's okay. We understand you have a temper. And we pull off. Mm. At this time, my body is too weak to even, like, at first, I'm still trying to press this stuff together because I was drunk. Like, my mental state, like, I'm still trying to piece it together. But as I'm in the car, she's taking me back to my dorm. I'm like, like, what? You think this is okay? And he think it's okay? And she just, like, she proceeds to text me and drop me off at my dorm, and she like, hey, are, we, are you okay? Are we still friends? Why would you have to ask me some type of shit like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounded like the Haley girl was in on it. Like she said, what? she was. She was. Yeah. She was. Yes. And at the end, after I told them that, I had to go get, after I went to my room, mm -hmm. I just laid out on the ground, and I, I collapsed again on the ground in my room. And Mikhail was like, I see your location. You're back on campus. Come to my room. Come to my room. So she come get me. We go to her room. She's telling me, we got to call the police. We got to call the police. And my head... Cause this is something like this is something I told myself. If I ever, if this if this stuff ever happened to me, I'm just gonna kill myself. Because like I don't I don't even see how I could how I could live with it. I don't see how I've been living with it. That's why I had to speak out now because like my mental health is getting so bad and I'm getting so much hate from people just for trying to get justice. Mm -hmm. But I never even wanted to go to the police about the situation because I know of his popularity and I know how people say, oh he gets away with things like this. There's no point of going to the police. He's casting over. Yeah. So, so boom, the only reason why I told the police is because we didn't end up we didn't end up calling the police first. We ended up calling her mom. Her mom reasoned with me and was like, "You need to talk to the police. You need to talk to the police." And I was like, "All right, I still ain't want to." So I'm like, "I'm gonna just go take a shower." Michaela said, "You're not taking a shower until you call the police." Mm 
That is the only reason why I even told the police right there because I wanted to wash them off me. I felt so disgusting. Like, I'm 18 years old, Kayla. He's 25 years old. I told him, I told him so many times when I was sober, like, I don't want you. You're too old. I don't want to talk to you. You're too old. You're a cute dog. Like, I don't want to talk to you. I'm a freshman on campus. I don't want anything to do with you in that kind of way. And he waited till I was in an alternate state. So I was drunk, till I was drunk. He waited. And he had people help him, like, oh, it just, it just makes me so. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She's not talking about casting over the rapper. I see people asking the rapper, no. It's the boy who I tagged that I am mob. That's his name, Casanova. Okay. Yes, they... He's a 20 dog at Troy University. Yeah, um, so she was raped by this boy, basically. Um, and he said the case is still ongoing, right? Yes, and it wasn't just him. It was actually Amanda and Haley Lee. They actually helped. They helped him mm. also. So are they but, in trouble? According to the officer, I can only charge him with rape. I can I I have to charge Haley Lee and Amanda Robinson with um sodomy because you can't legally rape another female is what he told me. Mm. Um, you should have gave me that Instagram too. I don't have it. I don't have none. I don't have them on social media. All I had was Haley Carter and I had her I have her on Snap well, I have I have the other Haley on, on Snapchat, but that's all I have. I have their mm -hmm. I have Snapchat. Yeah. Well, y'all got his Instagram. I pinned it up there. Oh, and let them know that now he's been banned off campus since I, you know, the post been getting attention. Um, they sent all the students an email, so he can't come back. For me for five months. They continue to let him roam around campus. There would be days I wouldn't go to the cafe or I wouldn't go to, to the Chick-fil-A downstairs to eat because I know I was seeing him and I didn't know how I would react to seeing my rapist on campus. Mm hmm so there's so many times I just wouldn't eat. And I don't even have an appetite now. Like, my appetite goes away when I start thinking about this. Like, the only way I was surviving is to push it in the back of my head and ignore that it happened to me. Mm -hmm. They have to wake up and accept that something that messed up happened to you will mentally destroy you. And I said, and I said to myself, there is no way that I should be getting no sleep and he gets to continue live his life and have fun. He mm -hmm. was running for NBA, for Senate. Mm -hmm. This is what this is this is what ignited me to go to social media because I saw I was being ignored by the police department. I saw I was being ignored by my Troy University. I was being your I was being ignored by my university and the, they had both failed me. So I mm -hmm. said, okay, take this into my hands and I'm just spread awareness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did the right thing because I saw it. Um, so hopefully, and, and that, I'm not the only female issue. Yeah, I was reading them comments um, in your shares. I was seeing a lot of people say this ain't the first time they heard this about him. It's not the first time. It's not the first time. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I encourage more girls to come out and speak against him about what, about what he did to them. Yeah. So hopefully now with this new attention and with people knowing your story, it'll bring more stuff to the front and to happen because... At least now he banned off campus, but it's sad that it did take five months and for your for getting attention it's like so many this. People. Yeah, yeah, so many people on the campus know like they know what he does. Like this girl named Jordan Yates that runs for that that was running for SGA. She was trying to get me to vote for her, and she was like, "Oh, you should vote for Manny. You're casting over." And I was like, "I'll be voting for Manny." And she asked us, "What you got against Cass?" And I said, "He's a rapist and he's disgusting." She mm -hmm. proceeds to say, "Oh." Well, she was like, oh, well, but um, she was like, yeah, I know that, but he's a good person. You can actually learn from him. Yeah. Then she proceeded to tell me this all to her freshman year. Like, you don't sit here and tell me to go learn from my rapist. She was basically saying, just accept that it happened to you. He's a good guy. Yeah, that's crazy. And I, and I, and I got tired of accepting it. Mm-hmm. And I'm so glad that you reached out to me. You're welcome. Um, I'm glad they saw it and did something about it. But, you know, in situations like this, it shouldn't take for no fucking celebrity or somebody famous just to speak on something for somebody regular. 
needs to be done to happen to them. Like, that's dumb as fuck, you know. They should have just handled what they had to handle, you know. It shouldn't take a bigger platform or something going viral. People just need to do what they need to do. So I hate that it had to be dealt this way, but I'm glad you did speak up because a lot of times I know this happens a lot in colleges and people try to bury it and, you know, because the school try to save their rep, but that don't matter when people get taken advantage of. It's probably plenty of girls like you who just don't come out about it because they do the same thing. They try to just silence them. And unless they know somebody that knows somebody, they won't be heard. So yeah. Dean did not care. The Dean did not care until until it got so much attention on social media and from my other teachers that he, he emailed me and was like, okay, Zayana, I see that you now want to take action against Casanova. He mm -hmm. emailed me that. And then he yeah. emailed me to call his assistant. I called the assistant. She didn't even answer the first time. Mm. Like, I just feel like the school does not care at all. I'm just a black girl at a PWI. They don't care. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it would have been different if you was white. If I was Yes. That's true. So, um, I'm going to whatever you want me to after this live. I know you mentioned something about a market. Y'all going to have a market? Yeah, that's also? a uh, uh, February 3rd, there's a March. Okay. Oh, it already happened? February? No. February. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, 30. Okay. Um, you can just send me all the info. I'll make sure I post that and just keep me up to date. Because I know okay. you said trial and all this other stuff, so you know, just keep people updated. But okay. um, also, I feel like you should also still make your own video because this is just my platform. You still need to on your own tell your story and go into detail so people know what they're fighting for. Okay. So make a video and just explain the same way you did. You don't even have to run down the whole story. Just his name, what happened, and why you're doing this. That's enough right there. So, um... Yeah, thank you for coming on here because I know you was nervous and scared. Like, I got a little scared like it happened to me, but I'm just glad I could help. Um, I've been lurking on his Instagram. He losing followers, but that's not enough. I'm going to boo this bitch. Let me show. I can't say shit like that a lot. But real, you're going to get your justice. <laughs>